Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. Today, we will be looking at how to create this fun and interactive worksheet using the Ink to Math feature in our class notebook. Now, please keep in mind, I am using the OneNote app on my desktop, which automatically syncs with the class notebook of your class. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I am going to create a page. Let me scroll this down. So I'm going to click all the way here and add a new page. And once I do that, I will go ahead and name my page Solving the Linear Equations or just equation. Let me make the L capital. And once I do that, I will go into my view and I will change the way my page looks. I want it to mimic a regular class notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and click on rule lines and I'm going to go ahead and change it to a narrow ruled line. Let me see if I like that or yeah, I like this one. OK, so I'm going to keep it to the wide uh, rule lines. And once I have that, I will click on my draw tab. I will pick a pen that I like and I'm going to go ahead and write an equation. I'm going to say 3x plus 4 is equal to 12. And once I do that, I am going to use my lasso tool and select my entire equation. And I will click on math. And as you can see, it gives me an option to change it from ink to math. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And once I click that, it automatically changes my handwritten annotation into a math equation. So I'm going to go ahead and Make it nice and clean for my students to see because this is going to be the starting point of my worksheet. So I'm going to say how to solve the equation. E-Q-U-A-T-I-O-N. And then I am going to go to my home tab here. And I'm going to change the font because that is the entry point. I'm going to make it to 36. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to drag it so you can see. There you go. That's perfect. And once I do that, I want to make sure this is highlighted and my students can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the draw tool and I'm going to click shapes and I'm going to pick a rectangle. Now you can decide what pen you want to use, but just to keep it colorful, I'm going to use a rainbow pen. And there you go. And once that's done, I am going to go back into the math tab here, select the action. Let me click here and go back, select the action. And I'm going to say solve for X. And then I'm going to ask it to show me the steps. Using artificial intelligence, Microsoft actually solves all these problems. And once I see my step, what I'm going to do is simply going to drag and drop it right here. And as you can see, once I do that, everything has been incorporated into my OneNote page. And I am going to go back to my Home tab and change the size to, let me say, 20, so that my students can see it nice and clearly. So steps for solving the equation. There you go. And once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and click on this again. Actually, click on this again. And I'm going to say graph in 2D. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and insert the graph. I'm going to scroll this. I'm going to pull my graph all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to say, now let's look at the graph of what was my equation 3x oops graph of 3x let me see plus 4 is equal to 12 
And again, I'm going to go back and highlight it and change it to 26. Yeah, I'm going to change it to 26. I'm going to move my graph all the way to the bottom here. I'm going to go back through my to my draw tool, click on the shape, click on the basic shapes and make sure I have a box right here. And there you go. Now this looks perfectly cool and I have now let's graph it. So my students have the steps on how to solve the equation. My students have the graph. And if you think the graph is too small, you can always extend it. And once that's done, I'm going to go back and click solve for X. Once I do that, you will see a tab popping up saying generate a practice quiz. Now let's go ahead and see what it does. I'm going to go ahead and generate a practice quiz. And it's going to ask me, using artificial intelligence, Microsoft actually creates a couple of problems for you. And it says, give me the number of questions that you want. For now, I'm going to keep it three, but you can generate up to 20 questions. And once you do that, students will actually log into your class and log into the class notebook and then take a quiz. As an instructor, you can always grade that and collect feedback. So now I'm going to go ahead and generate the quiz. It's automatically generating it. And my quiz is right here. I'm going to scroll it down and you can see all my questions are right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to put in a text saying now let's now let's practice. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to my home tab and I will change it to 24 so my students can see. And then once that's done, I'm just going to move this to the bottom here. And once that's done, I'm going to the draw tool and I always want to go ahead and make sure students are aware that they have to follow the steps. I'm just going to go ahead and click that and there you go. And now when you look into it, it says how to solve the equation. You have steps for solving the equation. You have a graph of the equation. And now you have more practice problems. Now to make it more fun, what we can do is you can go ahead and click on insert tab. I'm going to close this for now. And you're going to go ahead and click on insert tab. And you see you have stickers here. So your OneNote comes with various kinds of stickers. You can pick whatever you want. Because this is a math one, I'm going to go ahead and pick the classic. And I want to go ahead and pick the smiling apple. Let me see, where do I want to put it? I'm going to click on this apple here. My apple is all the way down. I'm going to move this up to, I'm going to move it up to right here. I'm going to minimize it so my students can see it. There you go. Now let's practice. And this is a graph. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this little thing, this worm. And I'm going to minimize this and put it right here. And I'm going to say how to solve the equation. I'm going to go ahead, pick on this one. And I think I like where the pencil is. And I'm going to add one last medal right here. I'm just going to minimize the middle. Now I want it outside the box. Minimize it really small and put it right next to the final answer so it can be a little bit colorful. So as you can see, I have how to solve the graph. Let's practice. And if you don't want your student to scroll through this, as you can see, I have to scroll all the way down to submit it. What you can do is when you click on it, it's going to give you these four boxes where you can actually go ahead and increase it all the way down so your students don't have to worry about scrolling it. And that way they can know exactly how many problems are in and what they have to do. And once that's done, you can actually go ahead and distribute this particular page to your students by clicking on class notebook and distribute page. And once the students take the quiz, you can collect the grade and add it in their grade book. I really enjoy this feature. Hope you do too. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below and enjoy and happy teaching.